Hello everyone, it's Kay. How's it going today? So, this is another recorded video on the 6th of January 2021 on Wednesday. So, today is Wednesday, so I talk about my own strategy. So, I am actually taking a trade on Euro USD buy and I'm holding this buy. So, let me explain um, how I took this buy for today's video. So, before starting here, just a quick disclaimer this information is basically Based on my experience and knowledge, so when you take trades, please do with your risk. So here is the Euro USD chart, and this is a daily chart. And I found the daily chart Euro USD to be uptrending, and simply because the Kumo is uptrending right now, with a, it's got a thickness to it, and Senko Span B is up and A is up, and the Kijun Sen is upwards right now. And it looks like the market has been supported by this Tenkan Sen and continuously going up this way. And Chikou Span are above the candles, so this is nice confirmation for the uptrend. So that's why I was thinking to buy on this pair today. And I was looking for the buying edge, and I, I found one uh, today, and that's why I took a buy. I will show you the MT5 um, platforms later to exactly show you how I took that trade today. So. And moving on to one hour chart, in one hour um, I saw that there was a ascending triangle. So the highs are resisted at the same price level of a 1.2309 level. It's been supported, uh, sorry, it's been resisted one to th uh, three times and four times. But I was expecting the market goes up this way, breaks above because the lows are higher. The lows are higher and the high remains the same and that means that this is uh, in this condition there are more buyers and sellers in the market right simply because uh, the market has been resisted at this level 1.2309 level but the buyers uh, when it comes to buyers you know um, every time the market push back it actually uh, you know renews higher the low gets higher so this shows there's more, more, buyer, more buyers than sellers in the market. And when I see this uh, you know, push back over here in lower time frame, um, I took a buy here. And I'm still holding this buy up until now. This is a... Uh, yeah, so let me break it down to the five minute chart. And so, all right, so let me switch it to the MT5. Oh, by the way, I was actually, um, you know, putting this uh, analysis on my Twitter. If you've seen this, um, I said Euro USD daily chart shows uptrending and one hour shows ascending P wave looking for a buy edge. I was, I posted for four, four hours ago, like this. Um, I was seeing the ascending P wave and break upward this way, and it's actually happening right now. So. Let me show you how I took this buy in lower time frame. So let me switch it to the um, this uh, uh, MT5 and go to five minute chart. And over here, I saw that there was a, a um, reverse head and shoulders. There was a beautiful reverse head and shoulders in five minute chart, and this was exactly what I took a buy. And the market goes up afterwards this way. So I have running about like 40 pips or 41 pips of profit. And it's still growing. Initially, my stop was below the previous low, which was at this level. This was the original stop loss level. And now the market is going up this way. So after I confirm the market goes towards my direction, I moved the stop loss, stop loss to break even. And I'm now I'm trading the profit this way. My one of my stops were at the break even, and another another stop is actually below the previous low. And the market goes up this way. So once the market breaks upwards this way, then I move this stop to the second low, second previous low, and trail the profit this way in this manner. And I expect the market keeps going up this way because the daily chart still shows that this is uptrending. So. That's my trade. So I just wanted to say that the um, you know the trend follow is very strategy, very important and powerful strategy. 
every time you take trades, make sure to follow trend, make sure you capture the major trend direction in higher time frames, in this case the daily chart. Because the daily chart shows that this is uptrending, so most probably the market goes up this way in the long term. And that's why I was looking for the buy chance today and running about uh, four, 40 pips of a profit. So, and I keep talking about these strategies every day on my channel. So if you follow me on my, uh, my YouTube, that'd be great. So, yeah, and if you want to uh, know more detail about this uh, strategy, and if you want to, if you want the hands-on teaching, then I have a GTS class. This is a global trading school and this is up to five members group very closed and um, intense group for three months so if you're interested you can click on my um, services and gts global trading school and this is where you can see all the information about my teaching so yeah if you're interested uh, please write me an email uh, first of all uh, look all these look through all this information and write an email so that um, you know I can put you on the waiting list. So anyhow, um, the market is running uptrend, and there are other other couple of uh, couple of uh, you know trending markets. So let me see um, what else we can find today as a trending market on the daily chart. So. USCCHF is still downtrending. I was actually looking for the sell chance on this one today because the Kumo's down and the Kijun Sen is down right now. And Tenkan Sen is down, Chikou span below the candles, and actually the market is still going down this way. As I said um, on the last Sunday's weekly forecast, uh, you know, I said that this is going down still. So. I was looking for the sell chance, but unfortunately, I was not able to confirm the selling edge. And that's why I didn't really take a trade on this one. But now, on this Euro USD, I I fixed the profit, so I don't lose. Right? I don't lose anything because I my stops are above the positions, and when I set these um you know stops above the positions when I buy, I actually uh, look for another pairs to take trades or I might um, you know look for another buy chance on this same pair yeah right now I have uh, 45 pips of running profit and profit wise this is about like a uh, yeah 5,000 USD on each position so still running up up trending right now so it's about to break the previous high upwards this way so once it does I will move this stop to the previous low so yeah this one is also nice downtrending so I'm looking for the sell chance on USSCHF and also um, AUDUSD is also uptrending right and the Kumo is up Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen up Chikou Span above the candles all the way above the candles and the market renewing higher and higher this way so this one I'm looking for the buy chance too and the USCC AD chart, this is also downtrending. We see the Kumo down, Kijun Sen down, Tenkan Sen down, Chikou Span downtrending also. So at a glance, as Ichimoku Kinko Hyo suggests, the name suggests at a glance, I know that this is downtrending, so I look for the sell chance simply. So anyways, um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's my finding for today. So I hope uh, you watch my videos and follow me YouTube and uh, so that you can take tries by your own you can look for the trending market trending pairs trending market uh, indexes stock market uh, and then you take tries by your own because um, yeah I'm not I'm here to learn how to how to you know fish and I'm not here to give you the fish I like I like, like you to learn how to catch the fish so I hope you learn uh, every day on my YouTube channel and gain knowledge every day. So, yep. If you liked today's video, please press a good button and uh, subscribe and click the bell button so that you get no you get notified as I do these videos and lives every day. So tomorrow on Thursday and Friday, 
two days there will be live streams so i hope to see you tomorrow's uh, live stream on thursday it's gonna happen at the same time so i wish to see you there so until i see you next time please stay safe and stay healthy and stay gold all right so bye for now またね、everyone. Thank you.